What's happening, Shredder Nation? Happy Tuesday. Welcome to another edition of Shred Your Body. I'm your host, Jesse James Jemnick, and this is episode number 39. That is a long, long time. Uh, For those of you that are just joining us, for those of you that have never heard of the ER Shred, um, the ER Shred, we launched it last October, and I want to share something with with some of you. Maybe you're brand new. Maybe you're just falling upon this, and you're like, what the hell is the ER Shred? In simplicity, it's an 11-day elimination reset shred protocol and i want to share something that my brother my partner uh our co-founder sean sean escobar uh shared with me and it kind of sums up some of his words some of my words but man did he lay this out so beautifully to kind of give us this definition the er shred is a nutritional dietary lifestyle empowerment protocol. You notice there's no word diet in this thing. It is an empowerment protocol. By fully satiating the body's needs, we are able to take back control of the diet, which is the common denominator in overall well-being. Food can either be our poison and our pain, or it can serve as our fuel and our fortitude. Come alive and learn to Feel your way to good health for the first time. Some of you have never experienced how beautiful it feels to get to baseline, to eliminate all of the the, the crap, the poison, the stuff that's attacking you every day, that's making you feel bad. Some of you have no idea what that's like, and the ER strike can help you come alive. Um, Only you can do it. The ER Shred provides the tracks for you to run on for ultimate self-discovery. And that, my friends, is basically the ER Shred in a nutshell. My goal every single Tuesday is to pluck out another amazing person from our ER Shred community. One of the benefits that you get for raising your hand, saying yes to yourself, is you get access to our free online Facebook community. And right now we're pushing 23,000 people. It is one of the most active, engaging communities that you will ever be a part of in your entire life. I know that for a fact. I have been a part of hundreds of these different things. And this by far, the daily engagement, the support, the cheering, the questions being answered. We have a mix of health professionals. We have doctors. We have chiropractors. We have functional medicine practitioners. We have holistic nurses. We have former cardiac RNs. We have current RNs. I mean, you name it, they're there. Old, middle-aged, young, it doesn't matter. This is a community for everybody. And over the last nine months now, we have proven the proof of concept of the ER shred and thousands of lives have been transformed physically, mentally, emotionally, on all levels. It is one of the most mind-blowing, grateful experiences that I have ever had the privilege of being part of helping to impact and change the lives of so many people. And tonight, without further ado, I want to share another story with you of a guy that I've been able to watch from day one of his ER shred. You know, his son was a part of this this journey, and I, I'm pretty sure that that's how he got involved, but we'll kind of double, we'll double back on that and make sure. Um, but this man, he shows up every single day in this community. He shows up for himself. He shows up for his family. He shows up for his kids. For his grandkids, he has said the hell with what life says it's supposed to be. The hell with age, it's just a number. And without further ado, I want to bring in my guest tonight, Mr. Warren Say. What's up, Warren? Welcome to Shred Your Body, buddy. Hey, Jesse. How you doing? Uh, I'm so, so freaking happy that you're here, my friend. Um, First of all, thank you. Thank you for being a part of our community. Thank you for trusting in this. And thank you for showing up the way you show up every single day. Um, I think sometimes we overlook this. And, you know, while your 
personal transformation has been unbelievable. The motivation and the encouragement and the fact of just showing somebody else, Warren, that, hey, this is possible if you just give it a go, if you just commit to it, um, you have literally helped save other people's lives. I don't know if you grasp that concept, but I wanted to make you aware of that and say, we're very, very thankful for you to be such an amazing member of this community. Glad, glad to be a part of. Um, yeah. Just, uh, so let, so let's, let's figure this out. So you got introduced to the ER shred through your son. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. Okay. So how did this all come about? Take me to take, re, let's rewind a little bit. Let's figure out, you started ER shredding in January of this past year, or January of this year. Is that right? February, okay. February. So prior to January, explain to me where you were at in life, what was health like, what was daily life like, um, kind of explain to us and put us in that situation, if you will. All right, so I was first exposed to, to our, um, the products back in 2015, I ballooned up to like 240 pounds. Okay. I'd done the original nine day, you know, isogenics protocol and had had great success. And then of course I fell off of that and fell off, fell off of that. Fast forward to October, 2019, I retired from utility. I worked for here locally in, in Virginia. Yep. And <clears throat> going into uh, October of, Last year, Brad started approaching me about this ER shred. You know, I said, "Man, I don't know. I can't. I can't do this ER shred because I had, I had, a, I had a good experience of weight loss previously, but terrible headaches, and it, yep. it wasn't just sustainable for me. So, it kept bugging me from October until February, until finally I just bit the bullet. I said, "Okay, I'll try it." So, February eighth, we started the first shred and. Lost uh, right around 11 pounds the first week, three or four inches. And uh, I said, well, I'm going to give it another go. So I went ahead and did <laughs> back to back shreds. And, you know, that's kind of where I'm at. I've been kind of shredding ever since, to be honest with you. Yeah. Well, yeah. Some- and I want to I want to dive into all that, Warren, because I want to share with people what it means to live an ER shred lifestyle. Um, how is this so different than a diet? Um, you know, a, a couple key things. So so let's go back. So you balloon up to 240 pounds. You obviously get introduced to an amazing uh, supplement line, right? And I think sure. a lot of us were always, we, we get into bad health and then what do we do? We look for supplements, we look online, we get all confused and all this mayhem, but you put these supplements in and I mean, I've, I've, I've crisscrossed the science that backs what we use a bazillion times. And I've sent it to people that are way, way more educated than me to clarify and make sure that what I had in my possession was the real deal. So I crossed those T's, dotted those I's. So I'm there with you. We already had access to the best stuff. And you stated to me that you started and you had some success, but you fell off. Why do you think you fell off? Where do you think was the what was the good side about what you were doing and then what was some things that you know you felt were missing um that that kind of made you go that way because i'm always i'm always curious what makes people have this success but then kind of go back to the way that it was what do you what do you think happened for you well the the good side was the weight loss you know that was probably what, that's what i was looking for when i, and I got okay. there the bad side was the headaches and staying hungry all the time due to the protocol that I was on. Yep. It, to me, it wasn't sustainable. It wasn't enjoyable. So you're not going to put yourself through something every day that, you know, you're, you're struggling with. So right. I, I think that's why I kind of fell off of it, to be honest with you. Have you tried any other previous programs before this, Warren? Have you tried any other diets? Have you tried any other things that are out there, the thousands of, of things? Did, I did the Atkins diet one time, you know, meat, 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 and more meat and yep. nothing else and lost some weight. And there again, it's, it's not sustainable, not enjoyable. Yep. But so not- common denominator for you is sustainability, making sure it fits into life. I mean, until recently, you were still working full time every day, right? So like <laughs> most people, you wake up in the morning, you know, you deal with the morning stuff. 
you get ready for work, you go off for the day, you do this thing called adulting, right? And you got to learn how to balance that in between. Um, you know, and for you, your background's not in nutrition, not in, you know, food or, or supplementation or anything to that nature. So you were just kind of going off of what you thought was right. Is that correct? What you were told, what you were told to do, that's what you did, right? Not really learning anything, but just kind of following along. Is that, is that, am I on the right track? Yeah, I didn't do my research. I, I agree okay. with you 100%. Well, I, it's not about to, it's not about to say you didn't do it, Warren. What I'm trying to make a point of, how many millions of people in the world right now do you think are, are going through that same vicious cycle as you've went through where you know you need to get healthy, you're at a point where it's like, darn, darn it, like I need to lose weight. Like clearly I know this isn't good for me. And yet you try this program, you do this, you get involved in this, you invest this money in this. And all it does is kind of give you these results and then bang, right back down. Give you these results, bang, right back down. And eventually over time, no wonder why people want to quit, right? Like yeah. how many millions of people do you think are stuck in that same situation that you were? You see it every day. I mean, you see it in everyday life, you know, people struggling with it. One, yeah. per one person doing this, one person doing that, one person measuring this, counting that. You know, it, it's it's pretty discombobulated. <laughs> yeah. And how powerful do you think sustainability is? I mean, I know you said that's the reason that you failed. Is that one of the key pieces that has really made a big difference for you now? Is that sustainability factor? The sustainability and, and the, the easiness of the of this protocol. Well, there's just a whole lot, whole lot more to it than just the easiness and the sustainability. Just all the other attributes that goes with what you get out of it. Yeah, for sure, for sure. So I think that's a key thing, right? I, I want to really touch on that and make sure that people understand. Um, you know, before we get into all your results and stuff, have you ever felt? starving on the ER shred? Have you ever felt like you were hungry like before? Have you ever felt like you were missing out on anything? Um, what are what are some other things that people might say? Like when, when they look at the e, something like the ER shred, automatically they're going to think these kinds of questions that I'm asking you, right? Have oh, you right. ever felt anything like that at all? And so that that question, and then how do you feel right now? What's wh Explain to us that. So, so two-part question. I feel pretty damn good, Jess, to be honest with you. You just look good. pretty damn good, too, <laughs> sir. That's for sure. <laughs> you know, but uh, the, the way I feel is just energized, you know, yeah. from, 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 the, from the protocol. You know, there's, there's some times on the cleanse days that I might get a little stretched, but that's, that's my choice because I don't always put in what I need to put in on cleanse days, but and that's a lot of people struggle with cleansing. And that's the way, you know, you put something in your body every hour and a half, two hours. So it's not like you're going, you know, four to eight hours with nothing in your body. You, you, you're getting plenty of nutrients, plenty of liquids, snacks, yeah. whatever, whatever you choose part of the protocol and yep. you keep yourself satisfied and satiated even during the cleanse. So yeah. I, I would offer that up. As far as eating, I use old Southern term. I eat like a hog, you know, I, I don't ever get hungry doing yeah. doing. Australia. Yeah. yeah. We eat very so, well. So in your entire journey of all this weight loss and all these inches, and for, for people that don't know, you've lost how much weight so far to date? 58 pounds. 58 pounds. And how many inches? Uh, just shy of 38 inches. Okay. That is freaking remarkable. 58 pounds, almost 35 inches. And you're telling me that you've never felt hungry. You've always felt sustained. You've always felt satiated. There's never been a time where you felt deprived. Just a little bit of offness on some fasting days and such. Am I reading? Is, did I hear that correctly? Exactly right. Exactly. I mean, I don't know many things. I've been doing this for 20 years. I don't know many people that have come back after me putting them through something like this and gave me that kind of feedback. This is why I'm giddy like a freaking teenager. You know what I mean? <laughs> like when I hear stuff like this, Warren, you know, you're you're 62 years old, right? Or 60, just about to be 63. Soon to be 62. Soon to be 62. Most people that are that are your age, Warren, what do you see from fellow 
Uh, what do you see from people out there that are that are your age? What is what is their mindset like? What is their mindset like around health? What do most people your age kind of come to the realization of or or think is reality? Well, they're kind of giving up, to be honest with you, Jesse. You know, they're not giving up, but they they're just plugging along through through life with I don't, I don't you know, nothing nothing driving them to stay healthy, I guess would be the best way to say it. I don't yeah. know. Uh, I, I tell you, man. Back in October, I, you know, I was had been retired, you know, a year, and coming up on two years. I was starting to starting to see some uh, some wear and tear on my body from you know from from age, and I you know I, I had to do something, you know. And, yeah. You know, it was offered up, and and I did it, and I can't be more uh, can't be more happy. More, I'm excited. Yeah. I can't only tell now, but I'm excited about it. You know, it just yeah. No, I know you're excited. I see you every day. You're <laughs> you're engaged. You're posting. You're helping other people. Um, for you, Warren, when you say you're excited, you know, you're a guy. You have three children of your own, and amongst those three children, you have nine grandchildren. You've been married to your your wonderful wife for 34 years. Is that right? That's right. 34 that's years. Right. That deserves that deserves a medal right there because that's not a that's not a that's not a normal thing you know unfortunately anymore um what's the biggest difference warren when you say you're excited with life now when somebody's making the decision they're not healthy they're struggling they know they need to get healthy what do you now realize about health and what it brings to daily life that you maybe didn't realize before you got on this protocol well, Jesse, you don't take care of yourself, and you know, I you know, I'm not sitting here preaching to people, and, and because because I've, I've I've abused my body as well, but if you don't take care of yourself, you're gonna steadily decline, which is gonna reduce your life expectancy. So, you know, if if you, I you know, I feel like I've gone backwards in the last six months as far as, you know, how I feel, and being abusive to myself. You know, as far as yeah. what I put in, what I put in, what I drink, you know, how how I how I treat myself. So, but you know, you have a hard time getting that message across to some people, you know. But when people look at you and see the results that you have, then they start asking questions. Yeah, I had a friend stop by the house today from the video I posted yesterday. But you know, it just they they start to get inquisitive and curious. And I don't push nothing on anybody. I just share with them what I've done. And if yeah. I take the opportunity to, you know, to, to pursue it, you know, I'm, I'm here to help. I'm all in. Yeah. You know, and I, I love that you take that approach, Warren, because that's one of the most beautiful things about the ER shred is that it's very raw. It's very authentic. Um, the results speak for themselves. I mean, if you look at the before and after picture that I posted of you, you cannot deny those freaking results. I mean, you look like a totally different person, but try to come a little deeper for me. What specifically have you noticed now that's different? Like if somebody's like besides the weight, Warren, and besides the inches, which we know are amazing for our health, right? Like it's not healthy to carry excess body fat. It's not healthy to have all those inches of, you know, internal fat squishing our organs and clogging things up. But besides that stuff, because I think everybody focuses on that, right? What other deeper things in life have you experienced? When you say life is better and you're more energized, like what were you suffering with before that you aren't suffering with now? Like share with people like what other things they might be able to expect. This is your story, not their story, but what might they, what other changes might they notice? Mindset, body, anything, anything is open. Gotcha. Uh, the first week, you know, the bloat went away, totally, you know, from the first, the first 11 days, I lost, lost the bloat feeling, you know, the puffy feeling. Uh, coming into this thing, I had, pretty severe pain in my shoulders and inflammation from uh, bursitis and also had severe pain in my feet. Not my feet weren't medically diagnosed, but I'm pretty sure I had plantar fasciitis on one of my one of my feet. 
you know, all that's gone, Jesse. I mean, wow. I know we don't make claims for curing and, and whatnot, but that is totally gone, you know, and I didn't yeah. do anything other than the ER shred to make it go away. Why do you think that, why do you think that is Warren? Have you experimented enough? Have you watched enough stuff now? Like, do you, do you, do you, do you know maybe what the differences were? Like, is it, is it just in the power of food? Is it the foods that you're choosing? Do you it's, think of why all this stuff kind of just went away or? It's like an oil change, Jesse. You put out the old oil and put in new oil, which is a little, little different ingredients. Yeah. You get out the old toxins and get all that stuff out of your body. And put the you know the, the vitamins and minerals that the shakes and and, and the food that, you know that we yep. eat that, that's that's i think that's the difference it's got to be the difference that's the difference yeah and, and did you ever realize before warren you know you've heard me preach this right food is the most powerful legal drug on the face of this planet do you now believe that statement oh i do i do without a doubt you know i was a yeah. A dessert junkie. My sister makes, you know, wedding cakes and desserts. And, you know, we used to go down to dad's on weekends and eat. And I sat there and eat, you know, two or three pieces of cake. You know, whatever dessert she might offer up. And haven't had none in six months, you know. Wow. I, I just, it, it doesn't serve it doesn't serve my gut very well, you know, as far yeah. as. You know, and some other stuff is just a mental Can I just not wait? Can I, can I, can, you just made such a powerful point that I don't want to kind of pass over it. I, okay. I, I don't even know if you realized it. This is the empowerment aspect of the ER Shred. This is, this is the depth that we talk about. You just said to me, you choose not to eat it because it doesn't serve you. That's correct. It doesn't serve your body. You are now in such control that you understand that it's not that you can't have it, right? I don't want people to get this confused. If you wanted to eat a slice of cake, Warren, do you feel, would you feel guilty at all? Or do you just feel that you have the ability to do that if you so chose to do it? No, that's my choice. That's your choice. But you realize that it doesn't serve you, right? That's right. Yeah. I know what it does. I know how it's going to make me feel, Jess. Yeah. I don't, I don't like I don't like that feeling anymore, you know. But yeah. Uh, but I, I, you, know. you think that's an important thing? We're, we're talking about deep mindset shift right now, Warren. I mean, you used to eat these foods before. You know, I feel like most people go about their day and we're just shoving things in our mouth and we don't even realize what we're eating sometimes. You know what I mean? It's like a handful of this, a handful of that, a slice of this, a, a piece of this, a sandwich here, a donut here. Like before you know it, it's like everything's out of control. You know what I mean? And that's just an example of a day. Never mind stack that all in part. But I mean, you're, we're talking about really deep mental shifting to where you're now acknowledging and realizing that, hey, it's not that I can't do this. It's just that why would I do that when I feel so amazing now and I felt like such crap before? You know what I mean? Like that's a powerful thing. Is that a thing that people, do you think that's a, a key thing people should shoot for is really, really focusing more on the mental side and making those connections versus so much worrying about how much butter to eat or what temperature or all the little stuff that we kind of stress about? Yeah. I think if you focus on that part of it, the, the rest of it will take care of itself. You know, you know the, the cravings to me, are gone you know i pick and choose what i want to eat you know yeah. i don't you know that's like beer just i love beer but and i still like beer so if i want to have a treat on occasion I, I know what it'll do to me but if i want to have a treat i'll have a treat you know i might have one or two beers not like i was before i was drinking six or eight or whatever you know and, and, the, and the effects of what that six or eight do does now i can drink one or two beers if i so choose and that day or the next day i'm right back on my tracks you know i'm right back on the er shred or the er uh, shred life so i don't have to sit there and drink 8 10 12 beers every day i'll drink yeah. one or two today one or two a week two weeks from now and i'm i'm right back on the tracks i don't i don't i don't i don't crave that you know yeah I just to me that was probably one of the most powerful things is this whole protocol yeah reduce your craving and get your mindset of what you need to put in your body. Mm. So you were craving thing. You were craving beer. 
what other what was your other favorite things that you used to crave before that you used to think like life was bad without that you now look at and be like yeah no thanks mexican food <laughs> mexican food okay i loved it but it, it didn't love me so yeah I, and when i started yard straight out of him i stay away from mexican food not because i don't like it but it don't like me if you know what i mean it, it turns yeah it turns to shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It goes in and it comes right back out, right? You know, it's such a, yeah, it's I mean, it's such a I'm so glad that we're that we're taking this path um tonight, Warren, because I think this is the thing that everybody should focus on. You know what I mean? Like, are we, you know, can you get awesome results? I mean, come go look in the group and I mean answer that question for yourself, right? Like, how can you deny thousands of different testimonials you've seen them because you've been in long enough i mean aren't they mind-blowing like the stuff that people post the stuff that people are doing the transformations that we see i mean it's almost like is this for real like i gotta pinch myself sometimes right it's that crazy it is it's, it's awesome it's a it's a great group of people i'm gonna tell you it's just yeah awesome. but do you think i mean what's more important to you now do you think because you came in and you were desperate to lose weight, okay? And, and I know you're still on your health journey. I don't think it ever ends. But now that you've lost the 60 pounds, you've lost the 35 inches, we're talking about mindset, we're talking about mentality, you're sharing all this stuff with me. What do you feel is the most beneficial thing that you've received now from not quitting and continuing to show up every day? Other than the weight loss, Jesse, I got 22,000 plus people that I can call friends, I think. That's that's the way I feel about it. Yeah. You know, I, I can ask a question. I've met some wonderful people. They're just, they're authentic. They care. And they're all there for the same results. For, you know, better health. Uh, I, don't, I don't want to tell you about the community. It's awesome. You just can't, yeah. can't find better people. All yeah. Over. I mean, it's probably, you know, I rave about it all the time. I think it's literally the best part of the ER shred. Um, you know, the protocol is great. It's simple. It's easy. But the community, I mean, you can't even put a price tag on this. You know what I mean? Like the, the access that you get to high quality professionals, the support that you get from, like you said, people that feel like family, that feel like friends. Um, I mean, it's just, it's really hard to describe it, isn't it, Warren? It's really yeah. hard to describe it unless people just come and check it out for themselves. And we welcome all people. Um, you do not have to be using the products of our fulfillment company to come and check out the ER Shred. It's open to anybody. And you can find it at www.ershredders.com. So type that in, click join. One of us will, will gladly let you in and check out the guides, check out the photos, check out the, the, the empowerment posts, check out the lives that are being changed. Um, everybody deserves to feel as awesome as you feel every day, Warren, don't they? I mean, they now that you feel this way. I do. They do. Yeah. They need, need, need to invest in themselves a little bit. Yeah. For sure. Now, talk to me about this. Do you get to spend a lot of time with those grandkids of yours? Not as much as I'd like to. We we have some here pretty regular, but you know, everybody, you know life's busy. You know, people going yeah. that way. So, yeah. But I mean, on the time that you do get to spend with them, have have you has anything changed in what you're able to do? Has anything changed with the activities that you maybe do now that you're the healthy Warren versus the 240 pound Warren? I'm not limited to what I can do. You know, they they we we don't. They stay in the pool. I'm not a pool guy, so they stay in the pool all the time. <laughs> okay, okay. But, um, but I mean, you, I mean, for just being more engaged or, or anything to that nature, have you noticed anything around around that type of stuff? You know, they, with they, the quality of life, with maybe like kids or mentality, confidence, like anything around that type of stuff. Quality of life, Jesse, is better for a simple reason of the mental clarity. You know, for me, a lot of stuff used to bother me now it doesn't bother me so much because you know you can't change what you can't control and i, I think that has really helped me you know, a lot of stuff used to weigh on me where it don't weigh on me now like it used to you know kind of let it 
roll off my back, you know, like like a duck's back. But that that part of it is pretty amazing to me. Just, it's just just a, a better vision of life, if you will, and just less stress. So, less stress. Okay, so that's what I, that's that was going to be my question. Do you, so you're 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 telling me if I'm hearing you right that your ability to manage stressful situations has gotten more has gotten better you're, you're more tolerable you're more patient you're more relaxed you're not letting things you know negative things in life that just come up affect you in the same ways that this is you know transforming health has affected you to this level on on the on the mental level that way yes i don't i just don't let things worry me like they used to you know six months ago yeah but kind yeah of, it takes, takes, i mean this is crazy that you have shared so many things outside of what most people focus on, which is weight loss and inches, because that's what I feel like we're bombarded with, right? We're sold that every day, billions of dollars. Of, there's a reason that the weight loss industry by itself is a multi-billion dollar industry. I mean, th that's statistics, you know what I mean? And people get trapped into all this superficial stuff. But the stuff that you're sharing, Warren, um, I mean, this is this is to me affecting a cellular level. This is allowing the body to be the miracle that the body is designed to be. You know what I mean? And, you know, we've had to go through some cleaning. We've had to go through some ups and downs. We've had to go through, you know, some hurdles to get to where we're at. But the overall bigger picture, you know, somebody says, well, why should I keep going? Why should I do this if I struggled the first time? I mean, what you're sharing, Warren, is for me, and I hope it is for so many others, absolutely freaking priceless. I mean, this is what I talk about to people when I say health is our greatest wealth. And this is what I mean when I say, if you choose to get healthy, everything, literally everything in your life has the ability to change because of the simply the way that you feel, right? The way that you wake up, the way that you have more confidence, the way that you handle these situations. I mean, so for you sharing all of that, I, I, I'm reiterating it all because I really want people to zone in on that, Warren, and on that depth of, of the mentality side, because I feel like that's where so much gets lost, you know? It, it's so, so much gets lost. So thank you. Uh, for bringing all that up and sharing all of that. Somebody asked a good question, Warren. What was your activity level throughout all of this? Did you exercise a lot in the beginning? Are you exercising now? Was it a staggered journey or how's that going? Well, Jesse, I went, you know, when I got into the same, went and bought me a home gym and stuck it in a garage. So it, you know, that, that became a dust collector. I might have used it four or five times. But I'm, I'm a pretty active guy. You know, I, I golf, you know, on occasion, but, you know, I do a lot of yard work. Got a couple gardens with my dad that I keep going, cut grass, weedy. I, you know, I'm, I'm just a kind of a busybody. But yeah, going, going to the gym every day that that won't me. You know, I plan on sculpting these old old muscles a little bit here soon, since as as I get back to you know 100. percent But I, I didn't go to the gym every day to, to lose 58 pounds or 30 38 inches. It was just through normal, what I call everyday activity with an occasional. You know, work out maybe four or five times in the last six months. That's pretty wow. much. So. Yeah. So that that defeats that myth, I guess, huh? So thanks for crushing that. Uh, everybody, you know, everybody thinks, you know, when I hear, I'm like, well, you know, how's things going? And like, well, you know, I need to work out more. I need to work out more. I haven't worked out. I know I need to do that. I hear that all the time. And then I simply look at them and I say, well, how's your nutrition? How's your nutrition? And again, we get sold on this thing that, you know, we're not losing weight because we're lazy. I don't know if I believe that so much. We're not losing weight because we don't want to go to the gym enough. I don't know if I believe that so much, right? Like we're not losing weight because we've never addressed the internal issues that stops the body from losing weight in the first place. Insulin, blood sugar levels, and inflammation, right? Inflammation, blood sugar levels. When we can address those, all of a sudden, boom, everything goes first. So you just broke that myth because everybody says, well, I can't do it if I don't work out. And we can now stamp a big old fat bullshit on that. Right, Warren? That's right. Big old fat bullshit because you just called everybody out and said, nope, 
I lost 60 pounds and 35 inches. And the only extra work that I did was taking care of my yard, doing the adult things, uh, you know, weedy in, mowing the lawn, walking, being active, like just not sitting on your tush all day long in front of the tube, right? Like that's, that's, that's what you didn't do. You just stayed active, but you're a perfect example to show people the power of nutrition, the power. We go back to the same thing again, right? Food's the most powerful legal drug. Choose wisely and you have, you have great rewards. Choose poorly and you're basically setting yourself up for a life of pain and misery. Absolutely. It's pretty straightforward. It's pretty straightforward, right? It's pretty straightforward. Um, what other key things, Warren, how did you, I know we touched on a couple of these things briefly with like cravings and stuff to that nature, but when you look at food now, what is your, how do you view food? What is food to you now? What is the, what is the meaning of eating food every day for Warren? I want food that's going to make me feel good, Jess, and satisfy me. You know, I don't want to eat food and be running to the bathroom in 20 minutes and, you know, or have that ill effect. Yeah. I just, I want the food that's going to make me feel good. Yeah. And not go back to where I was six months ago, you know. Yeah. So, so food for you now is no longer, I mean, you, it sounded like the beer drinking, the cake eating, the sugar eating, it sounded like you were kind of just falling into the same thing as what most of us do, right? Like for some reason in this, in this society of ours, we focus everything around food. Oh, it's someone's birthday. Let's throw a big feast. Oh, it's a holiday. Let's throw a big feast. And oh, there's got to be 20 desserts there or it can't be tradition. I think we've lost tradition if you ask me, but that's another whole topic for a different, a different time. Right. But you know, you, you're now looking at food as like this whole new person before you were kind of just eating food to eat food. Right. Where now it sounds like you're eating food to live. Well, it changes your mind. The, the shred changes your mindset, Jess, you know, before you eat, to, I guess you call it to maybe to have fun. I don't know what you call it, but uh, my wife and I used to go out and eat two or three times a week, you know, different restaurants. Yeah. You know, and we've probably been out twice in six months because we, you know, she, she's doing a shred as well. She, I mean, she's lost 33 pounds. She wow. Tickled to death. So, so your, your entire family is like ER shredders. Your well, son, <laughs> you, your wife. I, I mean, a, this is, this is crazy. Yeah, I got a sister. She's lost 30 plus. Wow. She's, yeah, this this is, you know, it's a huge discovery for us, I think. Yeah. And yeah. Of, so. That's unbelievable. So you just nonchalantly shared with me well over 100 pounds of body fat lost between your close family members alone. That's right. And that's not even including your son, <laughs> who is absolutely – kicking ass and getting shredded and all that other kind of good stuff. Like, I mean, that's, I mean, this is just my, and are they experiencing the same things as you with mindset, with life, with how they're reacting? Are, are they sharing that same stuff with you? My wife's tickled to death with her results. Yeah. We don't, we don't, you know, she don't get into the mindset part of the whole lot, but my, my sister, Lisa, she's, she's blown away by it. I think, I think she's, yeah. Really cool, so, do you know what do you what do you notice, Warren, about your wife um, from like a mentality standpoint or a patient standpoint? Have you been able to pick anything out and notice anything? I mean, you've known you've known her for over three decades. She feels better about herself. You know, if you if you if you lose weight, Jesse, you look good or you look better. If you look better or, or look good, you feel better. So it, yeah, it's, it's just a it's just a building block of things to you know to work on. So yeah. She 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 feels good about where she's at. She she told me today she she wants to lose thirty more pounds. So we we'll, we'll see how it goes. I'm looking forward. To it. I have I have no doubt that she'll do it. Um, I mean, do you? I mean, this is amazing. So th now we just shifted to another thing where we talk about you know relationships, right? How can food affect my relationship? How can food affect my career? How can food 
you know, we always question this stuff, right? And you're sharing these real life examples of like, okay, food can make you be more confident because when you lose weight and you feel better, I mean, we all want to feel good, right? Nobody wants to wake up and be like, oh, I feel like shit today. Oh my God, I can't even look at myself. Oh, I'm so fat. Like it's all this negative self-talk, right? That we, that we get used to. And now with this new perspective on life, this new outlook on life, you know, this is how it starts to change the quality of daily life. And sometimes we don't even realize it, but you're pointing out all these things and it's you and it's your wife. So now we've busted myth. We've busted age. We've busted male, female. We've busted the fact that you don't have to exercise your face off in order to get healthy. I mean, do you understand, Warren, how much stuff we're like the myth busters? Me and you tonight, we're, we're cracking myths. We're cracking, the, we're cracking the whip, right? We're showing people that it's really not what we thought that it was. Um, you know, the, with something like the ER shred, it just, it, it's so, so different. So this is absolutely nuts. I mean, all this stuff that, um, that's gone on. Have you been back to, um, how have you had any doctor's visits? Have you, have you done anything to that nature where they, I know as we, we get our yearly physicals or something to that nature, have you been able to compare anything from past to present now? Are you at that point yet? No, uh, no, I got to go back here. Not when I had surgery on Friday, just I, I told you that earlier. I had hernia surgery, but uh, go back for a follow up on that. But I don't have any blood work or anything scheduled for uh, about a month and a half, two months out yet. So, yeah, very cool. So, I'm sure when you go back for that visit, um, you might shock your doctor. Yeah, yeah, I hope so. Yeah, I mean, because the last time your doctor saw you, you were 60 pounds heavier. No, he asked me what in the hell was I doing. <laughs> oh, he asked you what the hell you were doing. I went in for uh for the hernia when I found out I had a hernia. Gotcha. He said, "What did, what are you doing?" He said, "What is wrong with you?" I said, "Nothing, dude. I'm 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 good." He yeah. said, well, you "Look good. What are you doing?" So I shared it with the family doctor. He said, "Well, I don't know what it is, but he said just keep on doing what you're doing. You know, if we had yeah. doing or anything like that, just casual conversation." So yeah, but you know, he was. It's just a. It's, it's a big transformation for me, Jesse. People look at me and say, hey, I'm, hey, are you sick? No, I'm not sick. I'm healthy. You know, that's what I tell them. So, yeah. But. I mean, uh, this is – your doctor said, what's wrong with you? <laughs> 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 like, you get healthy. You lose weight. You don't look like you're, like, malnourished. You don't look like you're, you know what I mean, like, shriveling. Like, you're a healthy guy who decided to get healthy, and your doctor says, what's wrong with you? <laughs> yeah. i'm not even gonna dive into that one people that know me know that i'm like boiling at the tip of my freaking head right now However, just think about this folks like your health professional says what's wrong with you instead of being curious enough to go holy shit you just did what none of my other patients could do with my help god forbid i swallow my ego and say what are you doing so i can help so many other people Mm, this is kind of the problem that I have, right? So anyways, let's go into other stuff. What else am I missing, Warren? What other things can we share with people? What else have you experienced with the ER shred? Oh, let's talk about this. Talk about when you're not doing the 11-day actual ER shred protocol. What is the ER shred lifestyle to you? What does a normal day look like? Um, I think people, a lot of people get confused in this, right? Because we're not just going to put you through 11 days and then dump you off. We got so much more in store for you. So what does that look like from, from your perspective? Well, you know, you, re you reintroduce your veggies and I found out real quick that uh, broccoli wasn't a friend of mine. So, but I'm going to revisit that again. I, I, you know, I don't know. I just, I love broccoli, but it didn't, it didn't love me. So yeah. We haven't strayed too far from the protocol, Jesse, to be honest with you. You know, we eat garden vegetables, tomatoes, and uh, green beans, and peppers, and onions, and those all seem to agree. You know, we yeah. eat a lot of almonds, nuts. We eat grass-fed yeah. cheese, block cheese. To be honest with you, in the last six months, we have not strayed too far away from the shake and steak, you know, meat deal pretty much on a daily yeah. basis for us. I know a lot so of people, a lot of people, a lot of people ask me, aren't you bored of that, Warren? Because a lot of people always say to me, well, don't you get bored of the same food? Don't you get bored of just doing 
the same thing every day when you were when you were eating all this other stuff before? No, my wife's been cooking. You know, we incorporate, you know, the, the bone broth. She uses that in the grass fed butter to cook with. So yeah, you know, put that, puts that in all of her food for her seasoning. And you got steak, you got shrimp, you got hot dogs, you got poultry. It's the same thing you would eat normally, just maybe maybe presented a little bit different. But it, yep. you know, good stuff. Good yep. for you. Good yeah. For you. Simple yeah. switch, right? You you just you're switching out this for that. That's right. It's not like you're eliminating, it's not like you're removing and depriving. You're simply switching out non-nutrition, dense nutrition. Give the body rocket fuel, give the body poison. It's a simple choice at this point in time, right? That's right. It's what you choose. I mean, if we can make it that simple, that's really the beautiful thing about this, isn't it? I mean, you're just such a simple guy, Warren. This is why you're spashing it. Like, you just get it. Like, you just don't argue. You've never argued. You've never strayed away. You've never questioned the protocol. You've never said, well, can I add this? Like, you have not done any of that, that I can recall, at least. And I'm in that group a lot. And you have yeah. not done any of that. And this goes to show, like, no wonder why you're thriving. No wonder why you're, you and your whole family are smashing it. Like, you guys are just doing what it was designed to do. Keep it simple. Keep it simple. Everything else in life is complicated enough, right? Mm -hmm. Keep this part simple because if you can crack the code to this, you're going to give yourself the energy, which you've already shared with us, Warren, to handle everything else. It's such a crazy thing, right? If people just make that connection. Hey, this is something that I want you to answer. Somebody asked this question. Do you have cheat days? And is there such a thing on ER shredding? What would you, what, how would you answer that question? There's, there's no such thing as a cheat day. It might be a treat day, but ah. no days. You know, it's your body. You do what you want with it. But uh, yeah, as far as treat days, like I said, I've had a couple of beers here and there. And I'm part of a, a civic organization where they have, you know, uh, we meet twice a month where we, you know, they they, they provide the food. And I, and I ate a roll two weeks ago. First piece of bread I had in six months. But my gosh, guys, I hate to tell you, other than that, that's, that's pretty much it. You know, I don't, I don't yeah. spread it far away, you know. Yeah. So. Yeah. No, I love it, Warren. I mean, it, and it's not about, I hate to tell you, I just think people need to understand, you know, it's like when, you know, somebody posted, it says you don't get bored feeling good. No, you don't get bored feeling good. You know what I mean? Like when you feel this euphoric energy that just comes from the inside out every single day, because your body's functioning the way it was designed to function. This is what we're getting at. This is why we do what we do. This is why we preach. Everybody deserves this, right, Warren? Like, this is what it's all about. It's not about this superficial crap, you know? Um, whoever that was, I don't know who that was that posted that question. Thank you for that question about cheat days. If you go into our group, type into the search bar, cheat days or treat days. I did a video. I would highly recommend that you watch that um, and stop calling it a cheat because you're only cheating something. If you're cheating yourself, that's not the right mindset and mentality, right? No, for, for sure. All right, my friend, listen, um, what else? Am I missing anything else? Any other, I mean, you've shared so many things, um, so much about my, about life, so much about how it can change the simplicity I mean, we've covered, I think, all the basics, right? All the basics that somebody could go. If there's somebody out there that's sitting on the fence that was a version of Warren in October or, or December of last year, and they're sitting there, what would you say to them? You got to, you know, you got to give yourself a chance, you know, uh, Where are you? You know, I'd ask where are you at, what's wrong, you know, how, how do you feel? And, and, and I'd offer up this opportunity because I've never seen any opportunity like this. You got all the support you need. And I would say stay tied at the hip with the people. Yeah. The people are going to get you through it. 
Yeah. You know, some people can't get through alone. That's what we're here for. Yeah. It, work, it, you know, it works. Uh, the results speak for themselves. You know, it, you know, you just got to, you got to commit to yourself. You, you can't change unless you want to change. So that's, you know, I kind of, kind of leave it that Jesse, but the ER created protocol. It, it, it works and it works. That's for beautiful. So. Yeah. I mean, I couldn't have said that any better myself. And the last thing I'll ask you, Warren, when you, when I say ER shred, what does the ER shred mean to you? Can you sum it up in a couple words of, of what the ER shred means to you now at this point in your life? It means just about everything right now, Jesse, as far as you tell me elimination and reset, you've already covered all of that. But the, the shredding part of it is being a just part in general. I mean, what is it? What does the ER shred mean to Warren say today in this day and age where you're at right now in life? Like you're wearing the hat proudly. You're obviously sharing it with other people. Anybody who will listen, you're telling them about it. I mean, you're walking it, you're talking it, you're breathing it. What does the ER shred? When I say ER shred, what does that mean to Warren Say's life? It, it, it was, it's a new outlook on life for me, Jesse. It gives me an opportunity to hopefully extend my tenure here on this this big big globe we're on for one, you know. Yeah. To, to help people, it's like I said, if you if you help one person, you succeeded in my opinion. So that is, and it's like I said the other day, it's my goal just to help people. So yeah. That that's that's what I would say. You know, just it's such a yeah, it's pretty, such a beautiful thing. I mean, every person in our community, we they help themselves. And then they instantly turn around to want to help other people. I mean, this is what we need more of in the world. Don't you agree with like, we need more people caring about more people, like one actually more. giving a shit. I got one little thing. Uh, just a couple of weeks ago, and I would have never done this six, eight months ago. You know, we've met some real good people through Rick and Natasha. We, you know, Brad and all of us together. Yep. So my wife and I got in the car and rode to Silver Springs, Maryland for their birthday, birthdays and their wedding anniversary. Now, you know, a tribute to what you want. They're great people. And, and, you know, I love them to death. But I don't think I would have done that six months ago because we're so tied at the hip with one another and thank so much of each other and care about one another through this whole community. Mm. It's, mm. It'd be awesome to get all 23,000 of us together somewhere one day and have like a, you know, big party. It'd be awesome. Yeah. Well, don't you worry. I promise you, do not put that past Sean and myself. Um, <laughs> when when the time presents itself, um, trust me, we're like, we're like little kids itching to get out. Um, we can't wait to meet all of you. We can't wait to throw a shindig. We can't wait to embrace with everybody and listen to more stories. Um, that would be seriously, that would be life changing. I mean, to be able to, to you know, th th I'm done with the computers, right? Like we've all had enough of this crap. Like I need that human connection like everybody else does. And hopefully the time is sooner then further away that we can actually make that a reality. So Warren, I want to respect your time, brother. I, I can't say thank you enough. Um, go back, look at the comments. There are so many people that are, are thankful. Um, I know more people are going to watch this. This is going to go up on our ER Shred YouTube channel. And I really hope that somebody who is struggling, somebody that needs to see that bigger picture, you did such a beautiful job at, at explaining why health is so much more than the superficial weight and in inches. Um, it's literally drastically altered, altered and changed your life. And I am genuinely extremely happy for you. Um, I, I don't even know how to express that in the way that uh, of how excited I am for you. Um, you're a person that needs to be on this world for so many more years. And I'm grateful that you did that for yourself. And I'm sure your family's very grateful for that. And I know for myself and Sean and the entire board, we are super grateful to have you a part of this community and anything you need from us, you know exactly where to find us, my friend. Um, I, I, I can't, I can't tell you thank you enough. I really truly appreciate you. Thank you for having me, Jesse.
Oh, it's my pleasure, man. All right, guys. Thanks so much for your time. Every single Tuesday, 8 p.m. Eastern, another story um, next week is going to blow your mind. I'm bringing back my friend, holistic, uh, holistic practitioner extraordinaire, I call her. Um, she's a holistic nurse. She's been in this industry forever. My good friend and our health board member of ER Shred, Ms. Susan Rothman, is going to join me on this call. And we're going to dive deep into mindset. We're going to talk about things that we've seen with patients. Um, tomorrow night, we have our Shred Your Testimonial call. Please, please, please join that call. Warren, you've been on that call. Crazy, right? Like the stories... I mean, it brings you to tears sometimes. It gives you goosebumps. Like that's the call you want to be on because you'll see people just like you that have raised their hand that said, yes, if they can do it, you can do it. I promise you. And then Thursday, for those of you that are excited about the opportunity side of things, we have that call with our other ambassador, Mr. Bob Sifright. So you can join us at 8 p.m. Eastern as well there. Um, we can't thank you all enough. If you're not part of the ER Shred, raise your hand, say yes. August 16th, our next big team shred. We literally have hundreds of people ready to go. We will all do this together. You are never, ever alone, as Warren has said to you so many times. So thanks so much, guys. Have a great night. We'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.